edition of Coach's Corner. I'm Henry Wendorf. Today I'm here with Coach Aaron Huerta. Coach Huerta is the varsity football coach of the Harvard Westlake Wolverines. Coach Huerta, how was your adjustment to Harvard Westlake? Adjustments have been great. Um, players have been great. They've been working hard. Um, faculty has been so supportive. Um, I couldn't be happier, and I'm really excited to get started on our season. Awesome. Um, where did you coach before Harvard Westlake? Uh, so before, uh, just recently, I was at Notre Dame Riverside as the head coach uh, for a couple of years. And then I was at Servite uh, for four years as the defensive coordinator. And even before that, I was at Cronin Domar. Nice. Um, why did you become a coach? I wanted to make a difference. Um, I, you know, I had some great coaches as a young, as a young athlete. And I always felt like, you know, uh, you can make a real impact on kids' lives. And so... Um, I always loved being around kids. I always loved coaching. I love the game of football. I love the game of baseball. Um, so it was just something I really enjoyed. And I wanted to find something that I really enjoyed to do for the rest of my life. What would you say are your core values as a coach? That's a good question. Um, you know, and that's something important as a head coach. And as a coach, you want to make sure you're true to yourself. And for me, that talks, that goes into hard work. Um, I, I want my players to to uh, grow, to learn that, and to enjoy that. Um, never give up. Um, I think that's something that you're going to, you know, this year has taught us a lot is that, you know, a lot of things are going to happen, but you can never give up, um, you know, and that no excuses, right? Like it doesn't matter what's going on, you know, there's a way to adapt and overcome. Definitely, definitely. Um, so you've done a great job of changing the culture around the Harvard Westlake football program. Um, what did you perceive the culture to be when you first arrived versus how has it grown since then? That's a good one. And I appreciate that. Um, you know, I, I feel like the boys just needed some guidance. I feel like they wanted someone that cared about the game as much as they did. Um, and so once they realized that they had someone and they had a coaching staff that, that really cared and, and wanted to work hard, they were going to follow. And they've done a great job since. Um, they've come together as a team. They show up every day. They work hard. They do the extra work. And so that's the part that I'm most proud of so far. Um, what was the hardest part of having to coach a new team at a new school uh, through a pandemic? Not spending time with them. Um, a big part about football is being around each other, building that camaraderie, uh, um, coming together because it's a team sport. Um, it's really important that you guys, it's, you know, not just – on the football field, but other things that we would do to come together and build trust and build that com camaraderie. So doing it over Zoom was a little tough, but we found ways. Um, and I still think we are a pretty close team. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think I think we definitely are a very close team. The virtual workouts uh, were definitely very, very instrumental toward that. Um, so about the game, how do you feel? Do you think we're prepared? I probably feel like you feel. Uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> um, I'm excited. Um, I'm just, I'm really grateful we have this opportunity. Um, you know, we talked about this in January. It didn't look likely. And now we're, we're able to do this. So I'm very thankful. Um, I'm excited, a little nervous, but uh, I just can't wait for Friday. Yeah. Um, so would you say we're a more run heavy or a pass heavy team? Or is it more balanced? You know, I, I'd like to say we're balanced. I'd like to say that if a team was to watch us on film, they would have to stop both, right? Um, you need, in order to be a successful offense, you need to have both. Um, and so I hope that we can be able to run the ball. We're able to run the ball. And when we need to throw the ball, we're going we're gonna to be able to throw the ball. So I hope we're a balanced team on Friday night. Um, Coach Huerta, are there any St. Genevieve players that we need to look out for? Yeah. Um, as I mentioned to the team earlier in the week, they were a very young team last year. Um, and they only had like five seniors really play. So they, they bring a lot of talent back. Um, their quarterback's a really agile, athletic uh, quarterback. I think he's going to come back ready to play. Um, and they have a couple of receivers. Uh, they have both their leading receivers from last year back, um, one being the coach's son. So I anticipate them to uh, try to throw the ball um, and use their quarterback in creative ways to uh, make big plays. So the defense they primarily run is a cover three defense, correct? Yeah, so they're, they're based out of cover three. They try to give us a little bit of man. Um, 
But yeah, they base out of cover three with a little bit of cover four. So are there any players on the offensive side that we're expecting uh, big things from based on their defense? Yeah, um, you know, I think I think Marshall, how our quarterback's going to have a big game. Um, I'm really excited for him. Um, I think uh, JT is going to have a big game. I think we, we match up well against them uh, in that area. And I think our running back, Chili, Chili Wang, uh, he's going to have a big game. He's He's been biting at the bit. I'm really excited to see him make some big plays. So given the short time uh, that we've had to prepare, do you feel that we're ready for the rest of the season mentally and physically? I would have always liked more practices. I love practice um, and I want to make sure we're prepared, but I think we're ready. Um, the kids have done a great job, um, not just these last couple of weeks, but before this and coming every day. Um, our bodies, I think, are ready. I think we know our plays. I think we're going to be ready to go on Friday night. I, I feel the same way. Um, what is one thing that is absolutely crucial to our victory on Friday? Uh, you know, just thinking about the next play. It's the first game. We're going to make mistakes, and, we, and I understand that. Um, we can't dwell on those mistakes. We got to we got to move on to the next one. We got to be able to ready be ready to make the next play, okay? And and be excited about the opportunity we have, right? Let's not think too much. Let's go out and have fun. When we have fun, we play fast, and when we play fast, we're a good football team. And what is one thing that's crucial to the success of the entire season, your first season at Harvard Westlake? As a smaller team, it's our health, right? It's important that we stay healthy. Um, and that's a tough thing for all football programs is we need to be able to practice and work hard. Um, but at the same time, we need to be able to stay away from injuries um, and stay healthy. If we have all our guys, we're going to be a really good football team. Um, we just got to be able to stay healthy and be ready to go for every Friday night. And lastly, do you have any coaches that you look up to and admire, perhaps were a mentor to you uh, and gave you advice that you often think of? That's another great question. Um, on the national level, as college coaches, um, I'm a big fan of PJ Fleck. Um, he's a lot. He has a lot of energy. He's from Minnesota. Uh, the, the head coach at University of Minnesota. Great. Seems like a great person. Um, really gets to know his players. Has a lot of fun, but a lot of passion. Um, on, a, on a local level, um, my mentor is Dan O'Shea. He's the head coach at CDM, uh, someone I coached for about eight years, and he really just taught me the ropes, and I really appreciate that. And the passion and the preparation that he brings every day is something that I, stri I strive for. Well, thank you very much, Coach Huerta, for joining us today. Uh, good luck to both of us uh, for our upcoming game against St. Genevieve, and we will see you next time on Coach's Corner. Thank you.